Dear fella, dear fella, it's your cousin, cousin P, man. So black and so beautiful, so brown and so beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful. I pray all is well out there, man. Look, man, I got a word of the day, but I'm going to let y'all hear uh, this remix from Marvin Gaye that I'm going to do that's going to kill you, man. Tell me if you remember this. The remix this man. Aye. Aye. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, baby. That's up. Hey, look at that, man. Check it out. Yeah. Sexual healing, sexual feeling, sexual killing, we're feeling, feeling, and feeling, and you're yelling, I have for the gun, I'm on this. Yeah, sexual healing, sexual feeling, sexual killing, but the, ooh. I do not own the rights to this music, but I will be doing the remix, baby. I, 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 sexual healing, sexual feeling, sexual killing, we're peeling, we're on the top of the ceiling, ooh, 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 dropping the ceiling, uh, knocking the pills, uh, getting my millions, ain't never, never stop the cousin, cousin, uh, oh, watch this, oh, I, no, no, I can't wait, ooh, come dumb off that I'm gonna come dumb off that instrumental in my continental never was a rental everything I spit is subliminal you know what I'm saying I remember the old school pinto I used to ride and hit the blocks back then I really wanted a rental but I was in that B210 serving knocks on the block man It never stopped. It won't stop. But that was the old P. What you see is the new P. Some love me, some hate me. <laughs> but I never stopped checking cheddar like a food inspector. But now I'm just keeping it spiritual. Every word I spit is lyrical. It's a message in the message. I pray a lot to survive through the valley of the shadow of death. I think y'all better count y'all blessings. Because we at the end of time. World War III is coming. We running out of time. The Armageddon mean armed men gather together. Hey, you better get with like-minded people, man. You better hurry up and get it together. See, y'all say that he this, he that. But you never called him a liar, and that's the actual facts. <laughs> dear family, dear family, it's your cousin, cousin Pete, man. So black and so beautiful, man. Look, the, I want to talk about. Being. And how can I put it? 
I'm going to talk about the word problem, man. Every human being right now is going through something on our planet. Every human being, every child on our planet is going through something, man. And it's tough. It's real tough. It's spiritually tough. It's financially tough. It's morally tough. Everything that we believe is in question right now. Relationships are tough. Dissatisfaction is among the people on the planet. The scriptures say that a man won't even be accepted in his own house. The Holy Quran says that the children will go against the fathers and the fathers against the children. And the mothers will be withered away. Every life is troubled right now. If it's health issues. If it's conflict of interest issues. If it's money issues. We at war. We at war on what to do, what direction to go in, what to run from, and what to run to, what to sustain from, and what to grab in the best interest of us. We at war, dear family, and it's, a, it's tough, emotional Emotions are running high But I want to tell y'all one thing It said that pain and suffering Is prescribed for you Don't run from Run to the pain Run to the adversity Because it's only through those Energies That we become critical thinkers and gain wisdom. We're living in a time when you have to make tough decisions. Very tough decisions. And I just want to say, dear family, stop saying I'm going to put it in God's hands. Stop that, man. Please stop that. God said, I never change the condition of a people or a person until they change it thyself. So what are you talking about putting something in God's hands? God gave you the brain to think, the hands to work. The feet in the mindset to get to the destination. God is in you, dear family. Ye are all gods in the midst of the most high God. Stop putting it in God's hands. You pray to God. Give God the glory, for he is all things. But as Jesus said, faith is dead. So the, what you believe is really dead. You have so much faith, but you don't have no work to add to your faith that actually unlocks the molecules and the brain mindset to achieve and accomplish what you want. That's why Jesus said faith is dead without work. You can have all the faith in the world, dear family. But if you don't put in the necessary work as you are when you get up and go to work, there's a responsibility that needs to be met. And to, a, to meet that obligation or that responsibility, you have to go put in work. You hear me? To retain a paycheck. 
in order to pay your bills that you require that is your responsibility faith is dead without works every human being is going through something every human being has a trial every human being is suffering it will get it will never go back to what it was five years ago this is the end of time and if you understand prophecy if you understand the fulfillment of scripture you know that we at the end that's why it's it's always raining and gloomy outside unusual weather everything is unusual everybody mad everybody upset everybody trying to get healthy because something is afflicting them God says I am the author of life and ultimately I am the cause of death I am the cause and the cure of disease so what's ever going on on the planet is by God's permissive will or active will permissive will is he's allowing it to happen active will is he's in control of it happening dear family listen to your cousin P man with all this that is going on what should we do the Honorable Elijah Muhammad say our unity is the most powerful thing, as powerful as an atomic bomb. We have to start studying now. We have to start eating right now. We have to start compromising, not our integrity, but compromising to here to be able to accept a different perspective other than your own because there's some of y'all that's so superstitious i ain't if it didn't say it, if it he's a muslim he's a christian he's an atheist he's this he's that so what why are we allowing titles to divide us and cause division among the people if we have one common cause and that is we both want peace we both love God we are in the same condition as a people or a person and we're trying to achieve and we're trying to elevate ourselves and our lives and our family stop allowing titles to divide and conquer what God can give you through another people don't you know that God is called by many names ain't that what scripture and holy Quran says so if he's called by many names it's because it's over 50, it's over 5,000 different languages on our planet people speak different languages that different dialects which a different perspective of God but he's all of it and just because you don't know one, you don't know what, what one plus one is, but you know what uh, uh, one plus zero is. Pardon me, strike that I said that wrong. You know what two plus two, two is, it's four. But you don't know that three plus one equal four, two. That don't mean the person is wrong, just going about it a different way. So God is called by so many names and the perspective of him and the understanding of him is a different wisdom that you just haven't studied yet. So allow someone else's perspective to be accepted if it's not in vain. All right. Conclusion. We, the, the world is troubled Our hearts are troubled Our minds are troubled We stressing All these things You know why? Because we deal with too much Of bad energy 
you rather hold on to energies of hatred, of anxiety, of being mean, of being unbalanced. You rather hold on to those energies of pride and ego. It's disturbing, dear family. And it messes with your immune system. You rather you you rather walk in those energies rather than positivity in the light of God and trying to figure out the problem. It's you know, figuring out the problems is much more easier than allowing the problem to have you suffer because it messes with your immune system. Then you find out, damn, I got a pain here. I got an ache here. I feel, I don't feel good. It's because you so stressed out and they say stress kill. You're not understanding that it's easier to solve the problem. All you got to do is let go your pride, your ego and your stubbornness. If not, you're going to suffer. That's why I said every human being is suffering today. God is. Is not allowing no man, no woman, not to go through the trial in which he has prescribed for us in this time. It's over. You have to get it right. You have to be able to change your way of thinking. Or as the scripture say, you will die and wallow in your vomit. Dear family. Perception is real But I say perception is a motherfucker Don't be fooled By people who laughing and smiling And having a good time We all suffering from something So we all in the same boat Don't be ashamed of your depression And anxiety And, and all that Talk about it Release the toxin out of the body. Talk about it. Because when you let go that type of energy, you allow God to bring in good energy. All right? That was word of the day. Overcome the obstacles. Meaning, don't run from them. Run to them. Don't run from the problem. Solve the problem. Watch how your skin react to you solving a problem. Watch how your stomach react to you solving a problem. When you have a conflict in your relationships, solve the problem. Watch how energy is so transmittable where you will feel so much better just by having a conversation. But you so locked in the toxics of your mind and you are what you eat. So if you eating chicken, the chickens are running so savage because they inject it with so much poison. If you eating beef, beef is a savage you are what you eat. So you don't even know how to make a great decision for your life. And you suffering right now. You really suffering. You acting like a savage and a beast of the field. Like you don't know how to think. And the greatest creation that God made is the black man, black woman, brown man brown woman, red man, red woman, yellow man, yellow woman, and the white man is the last on our planet. And white woman are the last on our planet. But that's God's greatest creation because the sun don't have a mind to think of its own. The moon don't have a mind to think of its own. The trees and, and nature don't have a mind to be logic they are subservient to the human being the sun works for the man and woman the moon works for the man and woman water works for the man and woman the trees work for the man and woman God's greatest creation but if you consume in all bad foods you are what you eat so you are savage because you eat like one so you can't even fathom the thoughts on how to overcome obstacles and problems and trouble a life because of you you thinking like a savage you acting like a savage 
So all those bad energies consume you and it wear and tear in your body. So dear family, start to fast out the poison and get away from your ego. Start to fast out the poison and get away from your pride. You will be better off. Trust me. I've been through it. And I'm going through it. And it's called trial. It's a trial. I'm on trial right now. I'm ready to go to war with everything that's coming my way. Bring it on, almighty God, Allah. Come on, I'm not running from it. He said run to the problem that I may solve it. That I may have the wisdom to teach you about it. It's called a trial. I'm on trial. These people thinking they're going to knock me down. This situation over here thinking it's going to get to me and knock me off the course. I'm on trial. I stand firm in my belief and I can overcome. <laughs> it's called trial and tribulation. But I ain't tripping on nothing. I'm relating to the situation and processing it through logic and maneuvering my way through the Feel the death. Come on, cousin Pete. I'd have been on the podium some day. <laughs> I'm I'm basking in the glory of Almighty God. I am what He is. Like Jesus said, when you see me, you see the Father. Well, when you see perish, Abdullah, Grayson, you see the Father. I'm a reflection in the image and likeness of God. Ain't that what he said? I created you in the likeness and image of me. Well, God is a human being. He ain't, he's not unseen. So I don't run from the trial. I run to the trial. I don't run from the tribulation. I perfect it. Dear family, there's going to be bricks in the way of you trying. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's hard. Taking care of them kids is hard. Being financially unable is hard. In a world that's dictated by money. Being reasonable with irresponsible people is hard. Trying to be right by those who want to be wrong is hard. Loving somebody that don't love you hurts. But won't you find out why to make it better? That's all. What can I do? Many of us say, fuck it then. I, I ain't trying. No, no, no. There go your ego. What can I do? What did I do wrong? That you may change. It's a trial. Don't run from. Run to it, baby. It's your cousin Pete. Look here. I close. Don't give up, man. God is uh, curtailing the whole four corners with rain, snow, earthquakes, and hail, and trial, and tribulation, and he exposing Satan at his, at his finest. And a little bit of Satan's in all of us. A little bit of devil is in all of us. So, devil is the opposite of God in, in, in decision making. So, work on your imperfections and your shortcomings that we may achieve purity and keep pushing forward like we are intended to. to. So, I'm on my way to pick my boat up so I can drop it off at the interior shop. Y'all stay tuned for Cousin P. It's your cousin, Cousin Pete. Peace.